In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create reference lines that use multiple number formats. First, let me explain the problem. Let's say that we have a chart that is just a simple bar chart of, of either sales or profit ratio by subcategory. We want the user to be able to pick the metric they want to display, and we should only see a single bar chart. We can handle that piece by creating a parameter, and let's call it choose a metric. It's going to include two options. One is sales, and one is profit ratio. Now profit ratio is in percentages, whereas sales is in currency, or it's a number. So I'm going to show this parameter control and make it a single value list. Right now the, the parameter is not doing anything because I haven't told Tableau what to do with that parameter. So I'm going to right click on my parameter and choose create calculated field. And I'm going to call it metric value. I'm just going to simply do a case statement. Case, choose a metric. When they pick sales, then return the sum of sales. Else, return profit ratio. End. OK, great. So now we have this metric value, which we can put here in the, uh, in the view. And I can maybe throw that on color as well. All right. And I know I don't want red green. So uh, let's just choose a, uh, let's just leave it for now. That's OK. Nothing to worry about. And I'll go ahead and sort that. So now you can see when I switch between sales and profit ratio, my chart changes. But what I want is I want to have an average reference line on here. And that, that, is, that updates according to the metric value. So if I put an average reference line on here for the table, and let's edit that, and let's just show the value and hit OK, you'll see that when it switches over to profit ratio, it's not in percentage format, which isn't what we want. right? We want, we want this one to show in percentages, whereas if they pick sales, we want it to just be the number. OK, so how can we handle that? So I'm going to create two calculated fields. One I'm going to call sales reference line, and I'm going to say if the metric choose a metric is equal to sales, then sales, else null. I'm going to then create a second one that is a profit ratio reference line. And I'm going to do something similar. But this time, I need to actually build out the profit ratio. Actually, I could probably do this through a case statement. Case, choose a metric. When, uh, no, I want to do this through an if statement. I want to say um, if choose a metric is equal to profit ratio, then return sales, else null. And I need to wrap that in a sum and divide that, or actually, I want to make that profit. I'm going to copy this, and I'm basically going to build my profit ratio calculation. So this should be profit divided by sales. All right, and basically, if they don't pick profit ratio, just return a null. OK, so now I need to put both of these into onto the detail shelf, and from here, I'm going to, let's remove this reference line. Let's go over to our analytics pane and add a custom reference line on the, uh, let's go ahead and put it on the, on the cell level. And let's just say, uh, or let's do it on the entire table. And we want it to be the average profit ratio. And we're going to return the value. Hit OK. And then uh, we're going to put another one on here for the average sales return the value, hit OK. Now, what I need to do is I need to format my profit ratio reference line. So I'm going to change the number format for that. Let's set it at 0%. And then our sales, I'm going to change the format for that to be uh, currency with zero decimals. OK, so now you can see I've got a reference line here for the average for 172,829 for sales. When I switch it to profit ratio, it now says 14%. That's really, really good. So another thing I could do then is I'm going to call this, um, let's call this table reference line. And let's duplicate the sheet. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this reference line and I'm going to make it at the cell level. 
And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say none for the format, hit OK. And now you can see I basically labeled the ends of my lines. So let's click on those again. Let's edit that. Or let's format the reference line. Let's go ahead and stick the labels to the, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's just leave them where they are. Let's set the shading to 0% and then set the alignment to the center. So there we go. So now we've got a nice little custom label on the end. I go to sales and now we're back to this other reference line. So I need to edit this one as well. Put it at the per cell level, no line. And then uh, I can set my alignment to the center. And set, oh, sorry, and I also meant to set my shading to zero. And now I can hide this axis. And I have a nice little chart that shows me both my profit ratio and my sales. So there we go. A uh, really simple way to have dynamic, uh, you know, I, I think of it as like dynamic m number formats on your reference lines. So hopefully that's helpful and you can use it in some work you're doing. Have a great day.